Game over. KBC wins. KBC wins. I founded OFA, Oregon Football Association, because I wanted to reconnect former players and be able to give back at the same time. It's something that we could do together and grow our, our own network. You know, there's so many guys that have played, um, and this is a way that we can not only bring everyone together, but we can do stuff to give back. Give back to the kids in the community that, uh, you know, that deserve that, like when we were young. And use football as a tool, as a tool to teach kids uh, life skills and understanding disciplines and, and facing adversity um, like we went through. We've been through it. All those foreign players have been through it together and we carry that on not only to who we are as a person but who we are today as what we do with our lives and that's a way for that we can mentor kids in the community by putting on these camps, developing this mentoring program and at the same time have a lot of fun. You know football brought us together in the first place and to bring us together again it's our way of giving back. Joey, what is Kidstarter? Kidstarter is a program that our nonprofit Encompass created in 2013 to engage kids in local and global service projects at an early age. We connect five to 18 year olds to projects to increase their confidence, expand their awareness globally, and so we connect them to a coach who helps them come up with a project and take that project from the drawing board all the way through the finish line. Tanner, what are some ideas you have to raise funds? I have a three-on-three -three basketball tournament with a spaghetti feed on the end of that. Awesome, that's a great idea. What else do you have? I have a drawing contest. The winner of the drawing contest gets their t-shirt design worn by the campers next year. Awesome. Joey, how does Kidstarter help with the OFA campers? So the way Kidstarter helps with the OFA campers is by helping you, Tanner. So we've seen your passion, your engagement, your excitement, and our goal is to help make sure that you have the resources, the support, to make sure that you go all the way from where you've started straight through the finish line. So we would love for you guys to see and engage with Tanner's support and his passion and raise your paddles to make sure that everything that's happening behind us right now comes to fruition next year and that they continue to deepen their impact with the kids they're engaged with. Why is it important to help with the OFA camps? It's extremely important to help with the OFA camps just because it gives me an opportunity to give back to the community that helped me become who I am. You help mold me into a man. You get, get, the, get the chance to give these kids to be and actually feel somebody that they look up to, watch in college, and you know just love to see play ball. So to have the opportunity to impact somebody's life and have fun with kids, laugh with them, that's why it's important. Tell me about the first time you walked in Alton Stadium. My first time walking in Alton Stadium was probably the most electrifying moment of my life. The crowd chanting, go Ducks, go Ducks. You know, the alma mater, the band playing, fans going crazy. It was just a crazy environment and um, it was something that I'll never forget. How does it make you feel when a camper improves by the end of the camp? Yeah, there's so much more to it as far as improvement. Um, it's not just physically and the skill and drill. It's watching a kid that was maybe tentative go be a line leader. Uh, watch a kid that was walking around, now jogging. Really understanding that being a better person, you'll be more of a leader, your peers will respect you. So seeing that kind of stuff is way better than a, a catch or a tackle. There's a lot of ways you can see the kids grow in a short time, not just physically, that really sucks you right back in. Why is it important to volunteer with the OFA camps? It's important because I remember when I was little and whenever we got to got a chance to play with the older guys and be around the older guys, how special that was. So it's important for me to come back and get to know some of these younger kids around Oregon and see how much fun they have out here hanging out with us because it's just as fun for us to coach. Why do you volunteer with the OFA camps? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, at the end of the day, I was a little kid at, at one point and you know, just to put a smile on, on the little kid's face goes a long way for me. I just want to give back to the community that gave back to me. Where would you be without football? For those that, that may not know me, um, it'd be baseball. I want to be a professional baseball player. And when I was a little kid, I wanted to follow the footsteps of my father. And how did you get into football then? Uh, um, my dad threw a lot of balls at me when I was a little kid. He told me to pick one. And um, I wanted to pick either baseball or football. And I played throughout my whole high school career. And I had to make a decision as to what would get me to the next level. 
and to get my scholarship and be able to get free education, football was around. The experience at the OFA camps for everyone involved isn't just about football. It's about life and teamwork. Won't you help by making a contribution so that these camps can reach the ones that wouldn't normally have the opportunity to go? Raise your paddle and join the movement. Me and Tanner, we have three words for you. Join, join the, the movement. movement. Join the movement. OFA, join, join the movement. movement. That's it. That's what we're looking for. Nailed it. We'll be on the news later, dude, I promise.